Well, hello, hello, Facebook Live. Uh, this is uh, Patrick Dunn coming live to you from the Shea S in Hartford. And we are so excited to do the next virtual tour of our next exhibit at the Shea S Gallery up at the Shea S in Hartford. That was a lot of Shea S. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Um, unfortunately, it's just me tonight. Laura couldn't be with us, um, but I'm sure she is hopefully doing, feeling better at home. Don't worry, it's not COVID. Um, and we are here to take a virtual tour of the fabulous next exhibit at the Shea S Defiance by artist Maxwell Kale. Uh, so you're looking at the first piece in this exhibit. It is called A Versatile. But before I start walking you around, I wanna give you a little uh, thoughts about some of Maxwell's inspirations. Um, so before they left, they told me that they were inspired by Florence and the Machine, Bjork, German Expressionism, and men. And then gave me the direct quote, because men are better in paintings than they are in real life. Um, so we are about to see a whole bunch of male figures um, done by Maxwell Kale. Again, uh, this is Defiance. Uh, I should warn you that there is nudity in this show, so or at least uh, in implied nudity. So just so you know. But anyway, this is the first painting, Versatile. Uh, all of the works, as usual, are for sale. And Maxwell is super talented and only charging a small amount of money for his, uh, show, uh, his pieces. So you should buy all of them. Uh, so anyway, we're going to move on to our next piece. Uh, this one is called, here we go, is called To Search for Happiness. Thank you, Denise. Yes, it is beautiful. Um, I personally really like this piece because Max usually go, Maxwell usually goes a lot darker in his art, and this one has a lot of white in it. Um, so I like the contrast to what I normally am used to seeing from Maxwell. Uh, we are very uh, happy to have exhibited his, uh, their work. Uh, before today, we actually had a full exhibit at the Pride Center a number of years ago. Excuse me, hopefully I'm not making you seasick. I got stuck behind a little wall. Uh, but again, this is To Search for Happiness. And now our next painting is Unfulfilled Dominance in Me. So uh, you can see there is this figure here seated on what is probably a very fancy yellow leather chair. There's some additional items in the painting. Max does this like super, I'm gonna call it scratchy and hopefully he doesn't find that offensive, but scratchy style of kind of big bold strokes of acrylic paint on canvas. Um, all of these paintings are acrylic on canvas. I should, I should probably say that. Um, and yeah, so unfulfilled dominance in me. This piece is to find acceptance as queer. I really like this because there's this kind of wash of color, but as you get closer in, you start to notice that there's one, two, three, four different figures. And you know, they're just living their best queer life. Um, I really like this piece uh, partially because it gives me this kind of like vibe of like a queer salon. Um, I don't know, I've been watching um, Bridget Bridgerton in, on Netflix and I, after that whole arts kind of orgy sex scene that happens about halfway through, um, I have, I guess, you know, gay um, parlor, salon type environment on my mind. So that's what this painting makes me think of. Uh, but tell me in the comments if you like it too. Um, and in our next piece, so this is the only piece in the exhibit that is not exclusively by Maxwell. So this is a special collaboration with Beth Kiefer. Um, and it's, uh, they both worked on this campus together. Um, and you know, it, it has a lot of kind of Maxwell's technique of these large strokes. I actually don't know what part of this was done by Maxwell and what was done by Beth, but it's a really, really fantastic abstract piece of art. If you are an abstract uh, piece of art person, um, it kind of reminds me of those like big, huge, like splatter paintings. Um, and yeah, I really like this one. Definitely impressionalism. Uh, 
we continue on our tour, you will find with a lot of Maxwell's paintings, uh, they've given them very queer, very gay names. So this one is, this one is called Board Bottom. Um, and you'll see the, the kind of figure of the bottom, uh, bored and laying there waiting for something fun to uh, find them. <laughs> uh, again, Maxwell's using this like very, I'm gonna get close here, very kind of strong brush strokes. I really like this one, even though I hate the color yellow, the kind of big bold yellow that's up here at the top. It's just a nice splash of color uh, in contrast to the cold, colder colors that are in the bottom. Um, I really like also in Maxwell that his uh, their color theory is very broad. So they use a lot of yellows right up against cold blues, greens up against reds. Um, and, you know, color theory awesome t often tells us, oh, that doesn't make any sense. Um, but it somehow works with their work. So they must have something right. Uh, thank you again, Denise. Um, and thanks for liking my commentary. Um, so this piece is called The Beauty Depression Couldn't Steal. Uh, one of the things that uh, I've come to know about Maxwell as I've been their friend on Facebook now for a couple years is there's a balance of this kind of sexuality and existence uh, that they portray uh, on their social media and in their art. Um, but then there's this like real vulnerability that also exists within a lot of what they do, um, both in their, you know, kind of day-to-day -day, um, commentary on social media, but also in their artwork. So again, I'm gonna get a little bit closer here. Um, you can see there's two different figures. Again, this piece is called The Beauty Depression Couldn't Steal. Um, and so in a sense, it's really this great celebration of the fact that, you know, even if we are experiencing depression, sadness, uh, self-doubt, we can still find beauty in ourselves and beauty is always there uh, because those, those negative emotions uh, can't take away our, our true beauty. And here we are on our next piece. So this one is called To Find Joy in One's Loneliness. And again, we have this gorgeous figure, this time bearded. and then the chaos surrounding them. And again, we have the kind of bold purples and blues, those cold colors right up against the reds and the yellows, really creating really fantastic color theory contrast. And again, all of these are acrylic on canvas. Um, they're various sizes, but most of them are smaller size, like eight and a half by 11. A few of them are a little bit larger. All of them are for sale. So if you are interested in purchasing any of them, you can visit newhavenpridecenter.org uh, or you can email uh, info at newhavenpridecenter.org. Our next piece, and hopefully I can get this. Oh yeah, okay, the light is not distracting it. So this piece is called Pink Jockstrap. Uh, again, as I mentioned, uh, Maxwell uh, does a lot of queer slash gay themology in their artwork. Um, and you can see here we have the male figure and that little pink jock strap surrounding their butt. Uh, again, if you just joined us, welcome. We are taking the virtual tour of Defiance by Maxwell Kale, Connecticut-based queer artist. Uh, and they are from just south of uh, New Haven and they do all their work of acrylic on canvas. Uh, so this painting here is called Jockstraps With You. Uh, and you can see there, this time there's two figures, uh, both wearing their jockstraps. Um, I, I, I don't know, uh, this, this reminds me of several people I know from social media, um, just that they like to, they're, they're uh, roommates and buddies and they take photos like these all the time on the internet and I wonder if they are inspiration. Um, hello Antonio Brothers, if it's you. Our next piece, um, ooh, I am too close, I have to go the other way. Um, so this piece, this is I think the largest piece in the show. So this is called Internal Summer in Me, or The Eternal Summer in Me, excuse me. 
Um, and I'm gonna get closer so you can see it, but I wanted to give you the wide shot first. So this painting, um, which is a little bit different than the other ones, mostly because the, the figure is really dead center this time, instead of being kind of not necessarily centered, there's a lot of brush strokes around it. It kind of reminds me of like someone splashing through water um, and getting water everywhere. Um, and then the reflection of the sun on that water is that kind of yellow and red through the water ripples as the, the person kind of runs into the ocean to um, have that joyous summer feeling when it is not four degrees outside. Um, yeah, really fantastic. Uh, this is actually John, one of the owners of the Shea's favorite piece from the show. So says something about the owner. He likes that painting. Uh, so this is our next one. I'm actually gonna show you, we have two up and down uh, on each other. The one on the top is called The Search for Oneself. And the one on the bottom is called Processing Abuse with You. Uh, as I had mentioned before, um, you know, Maxwell has this really incredible balance in kind of every aspect of their lives, whether it's their social media, their artwork, uh, this balance between kind of uh, queer sexuality and kind of queer empowerment, reflection, uh, and thought. And so I really think that this is um, a great moment because on top you have this kind of reflective figure thinking, uh, you know, caring about oneself, looking for oneself, and below you have kind of a very heavy, much more serious thought of processing abuse and, and who you do that with. Um, so I'm gonna zoom in to the first top one. So this one has obviously much stronger color blocking, whereas the one underneath is more similar to some of his other, their other works, excuse me, um, where you have the big strokes and then the two figures together. If you are just joining us, welcome. This is a virtual tour of the exhibit Defiance by Maxwell Kale. They are a Southern Connecticut queer artist uh, and uh, we are doing a little exploration of their work. Um, so this one is called Man Bent Over. Uh, this is one of the um, more obvious titles to the artwork. You can see there is the male figure um, in front of you displaying themselves. <laughs> um, and uh, again, the, the bright yellows on top, the dark cool blues underneath, um, having that really great contrast of color. Again, if you're interested in purchasing any of these pieces of art, they are available. You can go to newhavenpridecenter.org later this evening and click on the links, or you can uh, visit uh, the Shea Essen person in Hartford, uh, or you can email info at newhavenpridecenter.org. So we just have a couple pieces left. Uh, we have another stacked uh, piece here, so, or two pieces here rather. So the one on the top is called Bored Daddy. Uh, and the one underneath is called Held. Um, so I'm gonna zoom into Bored Daddy first. We have this kind of figure laying in bed perhaps, or some kind of, uh, maybe a sheet on the floor if you're, you know, uh, a little uh, cheap like me. Um, <laughs> uh, and then below we have Held. And I, I was realizing when I was doing photos of the pieces earlier for the website that actually there's no second figure in this painting, which is kind of interesting to think about in the concept of being held. And so I, I just think of like this idea that they're being held by the world around them and this idea of like self-sustaining um, and not necessarily needing someone else to hold us up uh, and that we can do it ourselves. Okay, and our next painting here is called Yas Daddy. Um, this one, the figure is obviously off to the side, uh, has this kind of, uh, again, on some kind of maybe a bed or um, a pillow. Um, and then come in here so you can see the figure a little better. Uh, looks like they're wearing maybe a little red bikini or possibly a little red jock strap. 
Um, again, as I had mentioned before, uh, Maxwell uh, really enjoys to create art that is a kind of a contrast of either queer sexuality uh, mixed with some uh, more serious, thoughtful uh, uh, perspectives and ideas. Um, and so this one is obviously more on the queer sexuality side, but as we continue down, you'll see that transform. So as I said, we're coming to the last paintings of the exhibit, uh, but this one is called Found Comfort. Uh, it's this kind of, I don't know, I, I see it as a romantic or romanticism, but perhaps they're friends, perhaps they're uh, family, but this idea that uh, we find comfort in others around us. So the figure one laying on top of the second figure. Uh, one of the things that's really fun about Maxwell's work is you kind of sometimes have to really look at it to find the figures, but they're always there. And it's this kind of beautiful moment of artistic chaos in which you find beauty and find humanity. Um, and yeah, so this is another one of their pieces. Um, I see a bunch of people just joined us. Welcome, we are on the virtual tour of Defiance. Artwork by Maxwell Kale on display at the Shea S in Hartford. So, final two pieces of the exhibit. Uh, this one, hopefully, I'm yep, I'm far enough away. Uh, this one is called "Me Versus It All," uh, and similar to some of the other paintings that we saw before. Uh, obviously, this, uh, or obviously to me, uh, this piece is really pushing towards recognition that. Sometimes we feel very alone. Sometimes we can feel like the world is against us. And this true to that moment of emotion of what it might feel like to be completely alone or feel like the whole world is against you. And I have to say after the last week and a half, I can definitely relate to this if feeling and emotion. Uh, the last week has been a little bit insane. Um, and having having some roller coaster of emotion, there's definitely been me been, been a me versus everything else moment. And so our final piece of this exhibit, which is super, super an empowering note to end on, this piece is called From Rape Victim to Survivor. And you can see here's our figure here and their arms are out stretched out in this kind of confidence, this um, you know, conquering of the world before them. Uh, I find this piece super uplifting and empowering, uh, even though it is obviously connected to a very serious topic of sexual assault. Um, but just the, the kind of almost joy of that moment where you go from victim to survivor and are able to stand strong, I feel like that's what this painting is, is finding that final moment of strength um, so thank you so much for joining us today for the virtual tour of Defiance featuring artwork by Maxwell Kale. This was a phenomenal exhibit. It will be on display at the Shea S until February 9th. Um, there's about 20 pieces in this exhibition. Uh, it's on display in their dining room area. Please come by and visit it, or you can continue to watch the virtual tour online. You can also visit newhavenpridecenter.org, where you can see all of these pieces of art in photography form and rewatch this uh, tour. Again, everything in this tour is for sale, so you can purchase it by also visiting the website, or you can email info at newhavenpridecenter.org. Uh, as always, we have to thank and want to thank our amazing sponsors that make this, um, these exhibits possible. They include the Arts Council of Greater New Haven, the, New, uh, the Community Foundation for Greater New Haven, uh, and of course, our incredible partner, the Shea S, uh, and uh, healthcare advocates in uh, Stratford. So thank you so much, everybody, for being here with us tonight, and hopefully you are all having a good Wednesday. Good night.